Hey, how are you doing today? It's me, Mr. Rob. With Eleanor. And over there is our good friend. Otto. There he is. I'm so happy to see you today. Isn't yeah. That, yeah, I'm glad we get to spend some time together. We've got a few fun things planned, so I think we should start right away. So do I. All right, the first thing we're going to do is not going to be a surprise if you watched these videos before. We're going to plant some radish seeds. But we're going to do it a little teeny bit differently today. So we usually plant our seeds in these little brown pots. These are the neat pots that you can put right in the ground and your plants will grow right into the dirt when it's time for them to go outside. And another way to do that is with an eggshell. What? And we've been talking about eggs already like we did yesterday when we colored some, which we'll go back to and see today. But this can act, this eggshell can act like a tiny little plant pot. It's good for starting baby seeds. So we thought maybe it'd be fun to do that today. Great. Let's see how many scoops will it take to fill this little egg. What? One. Will you count with? And two. I think fill it all the way up. All right. Three. I think that's even two. more. Oh, wow. Let's There's do more. more space than I thought. Four. That's it. All right, and then should we put some, some dirt in the cup too? Because that would be a good place to put this. Uh, if you're doing this at home, if you plant baby seeds in eggshells at home, you can just put them right back in the container that the eggs came from. Sometimes people call that the egg carton. Um, and that's a fine place to put it. I think Eleanor put in a couple scoops. Yeah, I put in a little less so that our egg can fit. And then maybe when we're done, we'll put a little more around the sides. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we've got our egg with dirt and our cup with dirt. I think it's time to put in two radish seeds. Do you remember we said that a radish is a plant that you can grow and eat? You can also buy them at the store. Maybe you could ask your grown-ups to buy you some radishes that you could try. Uh, I bet they'd be very happy for you to try them. All right, I'm going to put in my two tiny little seeds. There mm -hmm. they are, and I'll cover them up. And now inside the egg... Here, Mr. Rob will show you Look at that. how cool that egg looks. Very cool. We're putting it in. Do you want to put it in the cup? Yeah. All put right. It in the cup. And it's sitting there in its own little hole. And then I'm going to put dirt around the sides so that when the plant grows out, it'll have extra dirt to grow into. All right. Well, we've got some other things to do while you're finishing that up. We made some beautiful eggs uh the other day well we didn't make the eggs but we colored the eggs do you remember these do you remember what we used that's right we used salt and one more thing food coloring you're right we've been using food coloring a lot lately uh i hope you've maybe been using some food coloring to do some cool stuff in your house mr rob before you go on talking about that should we talk about what day it is oh sure for eggs or for our seeds yeah, for a seed in the egg is day number 14. That's a one and a four. Can you show our friends? 14, one, four. All right. Now I'm going to start take, uh, you see the eggs? I'm going to start taking off some of that extra salt. Do you want to do that for another egg? Sure. I'm going to do it for the egg that we had two colors on. Okay. This is neat. The eggs are, are a little speckly, their color. Now I suspect when we're done, our hands will be a little speckly too. <laughs> That's okay, it comes off. Um, is it okay to get a little messy when we're having fun? Oh yeah. Yeah. But it is also very important to clean up after. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of times, uh, it's good to have a grown-up know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. I think all the time. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that the plan has been checked out with a grown-up. All right. Look at that. That looks pretty purpley. Yeah. I'm going to get our, one of our other purpley eggs. There we go. I'm going to throw this in our garbage right there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I think that's good enough. Here, do you want me to take your napkin? Sure, thank you. Sure. I'll put it right over here. Uh, Otto, will you help us show the friends the eggs? Yeah. Here's one of our eggs that went in both the red and the blue. And that turned what color? That's right, purple. Now this egg just went in one color. Can you guess what color that was? You got it, blue. I like the color of that egg a lot. Yeah, the blue really stayed on nicely. And this egg also just went in one color. Can you guess what color that was? The egg turned pink, but it went into the red. Isn't that fun? So we have one, two, three purple eggs right here. Look, I will put them. One, two, three purple eggs, one red egg, and one blue egg. Red and blue make purple. Yeah. I thought that was fun. You know what? Um, I thought that was so much fun that I thought maybe we could do some more coloring of eggs. Whoa. But I don't think you're going to expect us to do it the way we're going to. It's a little bit of a surprise. Eleanor, will you get those white eggs? There's no color on these eggs. Look, I'll put them here. There they are. No color. But I thought it could, could be fun to color these. Should we do an experiment and see if these eggs are cooked or not cooked? Yes. Do you remember our experiment? I do. I remember we would take the egg between our hands and we would spin it on the counter. What does it mean when it does that, friends? That the egg is... Not cooked. You got it. Hey, Eleanor, will you spin our red egg? Yes, and you can see the difference in how they spin. Oh, see, this one spins very fast and it will stay upright. Now try that one again. Oh, it spins <laughs> slow and it yeah. goes down very quickly. So I thought we would color our eggs not using paint, not using food coloring not using salt, but using this. These are pieces of clear plastic. They're actually called gels, but they're not made of jello. <laughs> they're made of plastic. And what happens is when you shine a light through these, it changes the color of the light. This one is blue and it makes the light blue. This one is a much darker blue and my light will come out a darker blue. You shine it here. I don't know if the friends could see it there. And mine is pale blue. Yours is deep blue. Yep. Let's see. What color is this one? Can you tell? I will shine it. It is purple. What about this? I see red. All right. Let's try it on an egg. All right. This egg is what color right now, friends? White. Mm -hmm. Eleanor, will you shine a light on that? Yes. Should I? Yeah. Now the egg is it's red. red. What if I shine this yellow light on it? <gasps> now Whoa. it's yellow. What if you shine your red light on it while I'm shining my yellow light on it? <gasps> now it's red and orange and yellow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What You keep shining your red. I'm going to get the blue. Oh, look at that. It looks a lot like the eggs we made before. Oops. Do you want to try the yellow and I'll do the blue? Sure. There's the blue egg. But now the yellow egg comes. And look. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm gonna try this green filter. Okay. Ooh, that's a fun green. Now, maybe at your house, you don't have these fancy gels that are used in theaters, but I bet you do have some plastic bottles and water and food coloring. So I tried this same experiment using a bottle that I just put some water and some food coloring in and look, it still works. That's so cool. Now these bottles are glass because those are the bottles I had. 
But if you had a plastic bottle, this would work just great. Look at that, it's kind of fun. You can see the water moving too. Let's try it over here with this one. What color is this? Yellow, ooh, so pretty. Eleanor, will you shine through the blue while I shine through the yellow? Yes. Whoa, look at that. Pretty fun. I like that a lot. Yeah, I hope some of you will try this at home. All right. Well, I think that was a fun way to color eggs. What do you think? I agree. I hope you'll try this at home with the help from a grown-up because remember the food coloring and the water and the bottles are all good things to get some help with uh, with from a grown-up. And if you used an egg, you definitely want help from a grown-up. But it works really nicely on paper too. Look, I don't know, will you shine your light on the paper? Oh, sure, I'll get a bottle first. Oh, that's a good idea. There you go. Look, that looks very pretty on the paper with no egg at all. All right. Well, I think it's time for us to read a good book. What do you think, Eleanor? Yeah. Otto? Sure. Hi, friend. Today, I'm going to read a book with you, and we're in a different place. We're outside on the porch because it's so nice out. I hope that you're getting outside and enjoying this weather. Today, the book we're going to read is called Cupcake by Sharice Miracle Harper. And my brother Otto and I used to read this book a lot together. It was very fun and I like it a lot, so I hope you do too. All right. One day in a big bowl, flour, sugar, eggs, milk, and baking powder were all mixed together. And then, with just the right amount of baking in the toasty oven, Cupcake was born. After a special coat of icing, Vanilla Cupcake was creamy, white, perfectly plain, and most certainly delicious. Being a friendly sort of cupcake, he quickly introduced himself to all his new brothers and sisters. Hi! There was Happy Face Cupcake, a smile a day makes the blues go away. Chocolatey Chocolate Cupcake. It's choco rific to meet you. Pink Princess Cupcake. Charmed, I'm sure. Rainbow Sprinkles Cupcake. Hi, 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 hi. Stripey Cupcake. Salutations. Fancy Flower Top Cupcake. Bonjour. That's French. Polka Dot Cupcake says Heidi, 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 ho. Cupcake felt special to be part of such a large and colorful family. This is the best day ever, he says. But by the end of the day, Cupcake wasn't feeling very special anymore. He was sitting on the plate all alone. Nobody picked me. I'm too creamy white and plain. A candle that was close by heard Cupcake crying and hopped over. What's wrong? I'm just vanilla. I'm not fancy. I'm just plain and white and ordinary. I know how you feel, said Candle. And then he told Cupcake about all his fancy brothers and sisters. Let's see, there's Number Candle, Stripey Candle, Letter Candle, Twisty Candle, Balloon Candle, Colored Candle, and Super Long Candle. Now both Cupcake and Candle were feeling sad. That is, until Candle had a big idea. Hey, you just need a special topping. You're right, said Cupcake. Candle hopped off to find something special. Wow, he is so bright. This uh -huh. is going to be great. Candle had all sorts of suggestions. Pickles, too salty, said Cupcake. Spaghetti, too swirly. Pancakes and egg, peas. How about smelly cheese? <laughs> And then, a squirrel! Ugh, too furry. I'm sorry, said Candle. I really thought we'd find something special. Is he gone? He's gone. Look, said Candle. What's that? Where? Where? Up there, on your head. There's something in here, said Candle. Pesky squirrel, it's a nut. Get it out! Get it out! 
there. <laughs> Yay. Wait, I've got it, said Candle. Tomorrow, let's try a potato. Mm -hmm. What did they put on top of the cupcake? The candle. Oh, just like it was someone's birthday. birthday. I think they make a great pair. And can you show us that last page? Hold oh. it really close, there. This shows a recipe for deliciously plain vanilla cupcakes, just like the cupcake from the story. Yep, and for frosting. Yummy. There you go. Oh, well, maybe our friends will make that with their families. Maybe. All right, it was so nice out that we thought we'd just stay out here and sing a song with you. Yeah. All right. We're going to sing the same song that we sang yesterday. It's called Knick Knack Paddywhack, or This Old Man. Uh, I thought we'd sing it again because maybe not everyone knew it, and this will give you a chance to practice. And you know that Mr. Rob and his family think practicing is really good. All right, I hope you'll sing along to the parts you know, and this song does a lot of repeating, so you might learn some parts that you didn't know uh, right now. You might learn them while we're singing. All right, and Eleanor, will you help act out some parts? Because I'm going to play guitar, and my hands will be busy. Sure. Thank you. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Next one's gonna be two. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Now it's gonna be three. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. What's gonna be next? I think four. You're right. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. What's next after four? Five. Yep. This old man, he played five, he played knick-knack on my hive with the knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. What's after five? Six. Yeah. This old man, he played six, he played knick-knack. On my sticks with a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home After six is... Seven! All right! This old man, he played seven He played knick-knack up to heaven With a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home after seven is eight. This old man, he played eight. He played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. After eight is nine. Yep. This old man, he played nine. He played knick-knack on my spine with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. The last one is... What? Ten. After nine is ten. This old man, he played ten. He played knick-knack once again with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. It's a fun song. It is.
All right. Well, that was a fun time spending with you. And now I'm going to say goodbye. Bye. We'll see you real soon. Bye.